everyone. Today is day three of the Battle of Books Readathon, and again, I have been reading too much because... reasons? That's right, Ben and I had just got back from the Model Instruments movie and it was amazing and we're going to film a review and put it on his channel later on, but we're talking about reading today. That is right. So yesterday I did complete the rest of Mouse and it was amazing. I already have the second volume of this one, so I'm hoping to read that at some point during this readathon as well because I'm really looking forward to it. And by the end of day two I had read another 50 pages of this one, but I didn't complete it until the early hours of day three. And after the Adventure Time Encyclopedia, I started Wonder by R.J. Palacio. At the moment I am 54 pages in. I am loving it so far. It's really good. Hoping to get through most of this one tonight, depending on if Minecraft is on the schedule or not it most likely is. But yes, I'm really really enjoying it. Now today there are two challenges which I'm going to share with you. The first one is the book spine poetry. What you do is you get a bunch of book spines and use the book titles to create a poem. And since I'm not at home at the moment with all of my books that I could choose from, I had to make do with what I had, which was still a reasonable amount, but yeah, this is what I came up with. To kill a mockingbird through the ever night, pandemonium, ruby red, eyes like stars, wonder. So yeah, that's my amazing poem. Yeah, I hope you like that. <laughs> like I said, I didn't have much to choose from, but the second challenge of today is the TBR mini challenge, and this involves two questions which you must answer. The first of which is, which five books are at the top of your TBR pile at the moment? I do have a few of them with me right now, and they are Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis, Sepetis, and Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. The other two books on my list, which are actually back home unfortunately, are Dream Hunter and I first heard about this duology from Lauren from Ren Kelly M a little while ago and I just bought them in immediately and I've been looking forward to them so much, they sound really intriguing. And the other one is Aeon by Alison Goodman. I do actually have it on my Kindle but I didn't bring it up to film this with me, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. The second question for this challenge is, if I could give you a wad of cash and send you into a bookshop, what five books would you buy to add to the stack? For this one I have A Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the sequel to The Name of the Wind which was fantastic. I also have Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I've been wanting this for a really long time. Ever since Raylene read and reviewed that book I really really wanted it and for some reason I've just never bought it. Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare because I just finished Clockwork Angel and it was amazing. Asunder by Jodie Meadows. This is the sequel to Incarnate, which I read last year and absolutely loved, and also Children of Liberty by Paulina Simons, and this is the prequel to the Bronze Horseman trilogy. It's about Alexander's parents, and I just, I need to read it. So those are the challenges. That is my progress for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to let me know how you guys are going with the Batter Books Readathon, and as per usual, I'll leave all the links to the challenges and giveaways and things down below, and I shall hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye!